Paragraph two, the property. Now, the very first section of paragraph two is pretty self-explanatory. It's the legal description, which you can obviously find via the tax record. The next two, improvements and accessories, are a source of confusion oftentimes in deals because agents are not clear on accessories that should or should not be included with the sale of the property. And I'll give you two that I find all the time. Agents are calling me up and uh, the buyer's agent goes through the walkthrough with their buyers and they see that all of the window treatments are gone. Window treatments convey with the property, which is something that listing agents sometimes fail to remind their sellers about at any point during the process, but especially when they're moving out. So those, those window treatments are going to convey with the property, and if they're not there, they're either gonna have to be returned or some money is gonna have to change hands in order to make up for it. Another one that's come up in the last several years and is much more frequent now is flat screen TVs mounted to a wall. Here's the basic rule to go by. The mounting bracket conveys, the television does not. Then we'll see paragraph 2D, exclusions. This is where a seller needs to add into that paragraph something that would normally convey with the property, but that they are wanting to keep, to hold back. And a good example of that that I've seen frequently is an heirloom dining room light fixture. Let me make it easy for you. If Aunt Fanny's light fixture is something near and dear to your heart and you wanna take it with you when you sell the house, take it down when you're showing the house when the house is on the market. Go to Home Depot, put in another light fixture and keep Aunt Fanny's light fixture safe.